Good morning children. Now we shall learn about the properties related to multiplication of integers, specifically the closure property and the commutative property. Now let's multiply the two integers. Minus 20 multiplied by minus 5. What is it equal to? We know 20 multiplied by 5 is equal to 100 and minus multiplied by minus becomes plus. So here the answer would be plus 100. Now another example. What is minus 15 multiplied by 17 equal to? Here we are multiplying a negative number by a positive number. So the answer would be a negative number. 15 multiplied by 17 is 255 and we put the negative sign here. So the answer here is minus 255. What do we see? In both the cases we get the answer which is an integer. So the product is always an integer in case we multiply two or more integers. And you know this is called the closure property of multiplication. When we multiply two integers, the product is always an integer. Now let's multiply the numbers in different order and see if the result is the same. 3 multiplied by minus 4. Here we are multiplying a positive number by negative number. So the answer would be a negative number which is 3 multiplied by minus 4. Here one integer is positive and the other is negative. So the answer would be a negative integer. 3 multiplied by 4 is 12. Putting the minus sign we get the answer as minus 12. We change the order of multiplication. So it is minus 4 multiplied by 3. Here we are multiplying a negative number by positive number. So we will get the answer as a negative number and the product is 4 multiplied by 3 which is 12. Put the negative sign we get the answer as minus 12. So what do we see? We see that the commutative property of multiplication holds true which says while multiplying the two integers the order of multiplication does not alter the product. So 3 multiplied by minus 4 is same as minus 4 multiplied by 3 which is equal to minus 12. Let's take another example. Minus 15 multiplied by minus 10. This is equal to 150. As we know, the result of multiplication of two negative numbers is a positive number. Let's change the order. Minus 10 multiplied by minus 15. Here again, so the answer would be a positive number and 10 multiplied by 15 is 150. So the answer is 150. In both the cases the answer is the same even when we change the order. Now let's see the special role of 0 in multiplication. Minus 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Same way, 0 multiplied by minus 4 is 0. What do we see? Any integer multiplied by 0 becomes 0, which means the product is 0. Now let's revise what we learned today. First, we learned about the closure property, which says the product of two integers is always an integer. So 2 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to minus 6 and here the product is an integer that is minus 6. Next we learnt about the commutative property which says
the order of multiplication does not alter the product and hence 3 multiplied by minus 4 was same as minus 4 multiplied by 3 which was equal to minus 12. We also saw the property of 0 with relation to the multiplication of integers. When any integer is multiplied by 0, the product is always 0. Hence, minus 3 multiplied by 0 is 0. So that was all about properties related to multiplication of integers. Bye bye children.